you owe it to her. You're doing her no favor by leading her along here. If you don't want to be in a relationship with this lovely woman right here, you owe it to her to tell her the truth. Do not waste her time. Do not waste her years. Do not keep her from moving on in her life and finding somebody that will respect her and love her and care about her. And if you are in love with this woman, if you're in love with this woman, if this is your soulmate, whatever the hell that is, if this is the woman you feel like you need to be with and you think you can tell that from playing house and sneaking around, then go do it. Then go do it and, and good luck to you. But I'm going to tell you something. The failure rate for marriages that are born from infidelity is enormous because she knows in her heart that you're a liar. She knows in her heart that you're a cheater and a manipulator and she knows that not only if you'll do it with her, you'll do it to her, she already knows that you are doing it to her because you've been less than forthcoming with her about the status of your marriage over here, and that's going to haunt you. That's going to bother you. And you're going to find out that when the taboo is gone, you know, the, the, the line in the song says, the best part of love is the thinnest slice. Well, you're going to get the whole enchilada here. And it may be very different for both of you once you're in that situation. So I'm just telling you, part of maturing is understanding that you have to make sacrifices. Part of maturing is that you have to curb your urges. Part of maturing into a marriage is that you just get through it because, neither, because you don't both fall out of love at the same time. There may be times that as she so graphically says, women cross her legs. But you know what? That's not the time that you run for the hills. That's the time that you help her through that time period. That's the time that you understand that there may be a point in her life where she doesn't feel comfortable in that regard. And you show your commitment to love her through thick and thin. And you do your negotiating within the marriage, not without the marriage. And that's part of maturing, and that's what I would recommend that you think about. And I'm saying this to you as a friend and a helper, and I hope you hear it in that way.